What's up and welcome to the episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're comparing the Acer Predator Helios Neo 14 AI versus the Acer Predator Triton 14 AI. Both of these feature up to a 14.5 inch OLED 2880 by 1800 resolution display. Though you can also get a QHD plus IPS display with 400 nits and 100% P3 color gamut for the Neo 14. Key differences between these two, the processor with the 285H on the Predator Neo 14 AI is much more powerful, a lot more cores and threads, and to boot, we're talking about USB-C power delivery on the Triton versus a full power adapter on the Neo 14. So in terms of total TDP for both the GPU and CPU, it's gonna be much higher on the Predator Neo 14 AI. But the Triton features a lot of premium features and upgrades. We've got a perky RGB implementation on the Triton that looks absolutely amazing. Downside though on the Triton, the arrow key design is not nearly as good. You don't have full size arrow keys like on the Predator Neo 14. Um, the Triton features a haptic Gorilla Glass touchpad that allows you to use a stylus on the touchpad itself for drawing, as well as hover support for drawing. So that's really, really cool. Not very many 14 inch gaming laptops have that capability. Um, in addition, the haptic trackpad in my testing seemed to work really well. The downside is there's not a big ridge for the right and left side of the trackpad. So it's pretty easy for your finger to go along the side of the trackpad and not realize it. And then you're like, oh, the trackpad's not working. So then you gotta move your finger back. But overall, the trackpad is a slick, interface as far as I can tell. In terms of GPU TDP, we're looking at 70 wide, 75 watts base on the Triton with a 100 watt base on the Neo, and both of them can take 15 watts of additional boost. So total of 90 versus 115 watt boost. The Triton features a new vapor chamber cooling with graphene thermal interface material that's supposed to be better than even liquid metal and the Neo 14 features heat pipes instead. So vapor chamber, graphene versus liquid metal and heat pipe solution here. Overall, the Neo being a little bit thicker as well as having the power adapter port gives the Neo 14 a performance advantage. Plus the 288D processor in here only has eight cores, eight threads, four performance cores, four efficiency threads versus the 285H it's got six performance cores, eight efficiency cores, and two high efficiency NPU cores. So you've got just a lot more performance in the Neo. And on top of that, the price for the Triton is much higher, starting out at 3,000 euros approximately, but that does come with the 5070D and all the top of the line specs. The Neo 14, on the other hand, you know, you can equip that with the the lower end display as well as the 285H. So you've got a lot more flexibility in terms of pricing for the Neo 14 compared to the Triton. So the Triton is basically your, your pure premium, thinner, ultra performance, ultra high level of battery, uh, whereas the Neo is more your high performance 14 inch laptop. The Triton comes with a Gorilla Glass touch enabled display where the Neo is not even touch enabled and it is a, a glossy display as well, but it's OLED, right? So yeah, so there's trade-offs there. When it comes to ports, they have almost exactly the same port layout, except you get a power adapter port with the Neo 14, which is gonna let you plug the power adapter in there and not take up a USB-C port uh, with the power adapter. So that's gonna be nicer when you're in a plugged in environment. So basically one extra. Both have a full HD webcam with the Triton being 3.5 pounds and the Neo 14 being 4.2 pounds. So the Triton is lighter. The other key difference is the build material. The Triton is an all metal, super firm, and hardly any flex in the chassis itself, where the Neo 14 is an all plastic build, which is gonna be better for heat transfer and management, especially on the wrist rest, but it's not gonna feel quite as premium in your hands. It and of course, the other difference is the trackpad on the Neo 14 is a plastic trackpad versus the glass trackpad. So overall, the Neo 14 is basically summed up as a high performance, more budget or mid-range 14 inch gaming laptop where the Triton is a ultra premium, probably ultra long battery life with lots of extra premium features like better speakers, uh, touch enabled display, the haptic trackpad, perky RGB, versus the Neo 14, just it saves money in a lot of different areas. And at the same time, it's a little thicker, a little heavier, and provides more performance with a higher overall thermal envelope. Certainly, 
If I were choosing between these two, I would go for the more high performance Neo 14, but that's because I'm a performance. I want the most performance as possible in a laptop. Uh, whereas, you know, if you just do Netflix, browse, and you just have an unlimited budget and you just want a, enough performance to game on, the Triton 14 should deliver a good enough gaming performance in the vast majority of games and sporting extra premium features compared to the Neo 14. Now, how do these stack up with the competition? We'll have to see, but both of these don't have as many TDP as the Zephyrus G14 or potentially the Razer Blade 14, though it's gonna depend on a lot of factors, whether you, you know, you know, for example, if you want an RTX 5080 in a 14 inch laptop, you can't get these because these don't have that option. You know, the, the most they go up to is a 5070. So, uh, but if you're after a more mid-level or lower level performance, and a more reasonable price, the Neo 14 is the way to go if you're after not that much performance and spending a lot of money. The Triton is certainly an option to consider, if, especially if you value drawing on the trackpad, because being able to draw on your trackpad is a unique feature that I've never seen on a laptop before, and this one has it. Very, very cool. And if, I think the, the market for the Triton is going to be super limited this year compared to the Neo 14, which is going to appeal to a lot more people given the higher performance options as well as a lot easier hit on your wallet compared to the Triton. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick comparison between these two laptops. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon out.